This mountain. A southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path. Am I in the right place here? I thought that was a person for a second. Scared me. So we're not seeing a path here, definitely, but this looks promising. Oh yeah, do some tree pushing. Oh my god. Dude, that tree is thick. It's like thicker than your entire person and she just pushes it like it's nothing. Oh. What was that? Something is scanning around here. Alright. Fight or sneak past. Sneak past. Where are they? Oh, they're a little radar thingy. I don't know where the machines are, though. I can't use my focus again. So that's what the Leap Lashers did to me before. All these little pods, they do something. Why are there so many here? Oh my god. Oh, great! Hey, Plowhorn Primary and Nerve! Awesome. I have to get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. Trying. <laughs> what? Don't bother me, please. I'm just trying to pass through. Can I get up higher? <laughs> Seems like it's a little bit far away. This is quite a climb. Right? Even for you. I have to get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. I can't imagine how much playtesting they've done for this game. Like they probably had a bunch of people play it, and then they noted down every single point where people potentially got stuck. And that's how we ended up with Aloy saying so many damn things about literally every single step of every single quest. We're not getting any closer. This is not the right spot. It's like snowing and raining, the border between snowing and raining here. Okay, there's nothing to climb over there, so we gotta figure something out from this way. There's some climbable spots up there, but I can't jump up there. Oh! Here? Okay, now- Whoa! Oh gosh! Oh, Silga, you owe me for this. This mountain is tall. Glint Hawks. Do you want to go next to you, or do you want to go that way? This is the end of the road here. Unless if I... Do a jumpy jump. Which got me nowhere. Oh my god! Oh! Okay, glint hawks are easy. Get rid of them, go. Maybe go up a little bit first. Looks like I have company. Bye! Or just, you know, flap away and die. 
Give up on your dreams and die. No, what, what is the yellow number? I'm not sure. Still need to climb higher. Oh my gosh, this is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. That looks climbable. It's thundering now too. Feels like that's not a good time to be climbing on a high point. But we're doing it. Because when did Aloy ever care about any of this? Okay, there's a there's a oh I don't I don't think this is the right way. I don't think it's the right way. I can't even get up there. Maybe let's try to go this way. Oh, but there's nothing to climb here. Right, so we have we have to go this way. Oh, no, 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 you can't climb. You can climb here. It's a good thing we're not afraid of heights. Oh my god. Okay, now to pick up the signal. Where's the best spot? Highest damn point on this entire thing, of course. We worked hard to come here. Hold on. Hold on. I should try to find a good spot to pick up Silga's message. Ah, Eli, what do you think I'm doing right now? <laughs> here we go. <sighs> Is that Scalding Spear? I think it is. We're looking at the right direction, certainly. But yeah, same as usual. I don't think we should be... Oh, the storm's over there. There's a lot of things we can make up. There's a really big ruins thing over here. The Horus. That's so cool how you can see all this. Oh, plane song. Wow. Okay, okay, here. Getting stronger. My focus almost has where it's coming from. Time to pay that Tanox Tower a visit. Sounds like a good time to go back to Scalding Spear to me. There's some fogginess here. Do I care? No, let's just do a big glide. What is that? Oh, what is this? Oh, oh all these things. Okay, we'll try to get. <gasps> There are shell snapper sights? Oh my god, no! No! But I'll try to get that. Whatever that is. Bet I'll get a nice view if I glide down from here. Uh How far can I go? Hello? Oh, this is nice. Hey, the next time we see one of those tornado thingies, apparently we can try to glide in them? Noted for future reference. Okay, we're not fighting any shell snappers. <laughs> I'm surprised I missed out on this spot, though. Apparently I've been to the spot already, because the shell snapper, the icon wasn't grayed out. Oh, look, we're watching the snow turn into rain. Oh. Damn, we went far. Yeah, we went all the way here. That'll be for next time, maybe, then.
Oh, there's a dr oh, okay. It's a drone. That's what it is. Is this the right spot to be getting the drone? There's a Cyclops drone monitoring this area. I need to grab its data. No, that's the platform. Give me the path. Uh, it does come over here. I'll catch a break from this heat. I'll wait a second and see if it comes over, but if not, we might have to go over on that side. Gotta bring the drone down to grab its data. Maybe if I jump onto it? Got it! Fantastic. Okay, so there's multiple spots. Okay, gotta grab the drone's data. It is mine. Just need to reconnect it with the dome. Sounds good to me. Fantastic. Okay. And then that's the... Dry urn. Oh, there's a rebel outpost here. Have we not done this? Okay. It's along the way anyway. What they used all these machines for? I don't want to know. It can't be that way. Oh, okay, you're telling me to go around. This way... There's only ten drones in the world. We have five already. So just five more. With the people, let's try to... Okay, today's Rebel Outpost. Let's try to... Do some traps. How about that? I really, really don't do traps enough. No, 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 no. I feel like... Yeah, these ones I might start using more. But then other traps? Like... These kinds of traps? Oh. Oh no, that's the... That's the whole... Racing thing. Over here. Rebel outpost. I was told there'd be one here. I should find their leader. Put an end to this. We must remain vigilant. There's no reason that we know of currently why we're collecting all these dog tags. Oh, this is gonna immediately make things go south, but I wanna shoot a explosive trip caster right over there, somewhere around. Are they dumb enough to walk directly into it? Oh! It's like it knew! It's like it knew! That's not a good spot. How many can I have down? Stay sharp. No sign of the enemy yet. Can I override you? <gasps> oh, somebody activated it. Oh my god. Can I kill you in one hit? I'm not certain. False alarm, I think. Hmm. Thought we'd get a fight. Never mind. Stay now. <laughs> Just watch and see what happens. Advanced ver these are good for stuff like flying enemies, I guess? Advanced blast trap. What does that even mean? Out there? Whoa, dude! My blade's always ready for a fight. Is she gonna see? Did you see that from the no. He's no. that outlet! No. Surrender now! Oh, oh that helps. I'll <laughs> set you out. I set the trap and it immediately set off. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, good thing we just took that perk about how we sh we get uh we get hit less from our own trap damage. <gasps> Woo! Oh my god, everyone's bulldozing over here. Taking the shot. 
Oh my! Okay, we gotta deal with this guy first. Did I get it? I think I got it. That cannon is hell. Here we go. No, we didn't get it. Well, you can only try traps for so much before they all get mad at you. I wonder what they used all these machines for. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta make it. We gotta add the perk so that we can walk faster with the heavy weapons. I'll take this in. Behind a rock, lady. Don't come back. The outlander is here. I need this. This is an outpost. It's a bigger one. It's not just a little camp. Whoa! Don't blow up your own place just because you're mad at me. Y'all even care? Hello? Oh, Sons of Prometheus operative. We can't let her get away. Zero. Get you and me. Get, me. Ah! get back. Stop her. You hear that alarm? Uh, oh, I'm like that. oh, I'm on fire. How do I become not on fire? Okay, that we gotta get that one guy. I wonder if this one's got some of those tags I keep finding. Oh, that's the leader. We're wasting ammo. Uh, you won't get away with that. This uh. outpost won't be causing any more trouble. Fantastic. Got some nice headshots in there. Yeah, let's try to use the camps and the outposts as testing grounds for new equipment. That'd be nice. So where's your tags? Give me your tags, mister. Tags. Not sure what to do with them. Better just hold on to them for now. We, just, we don't know, but we just want to hold on to it for whatever reason. Infernal Bomb Launcher. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh, wow. Sweet, but no more enemies here. Sweet, though. Okay. Well, that's a camp done. And I guess we'll just do this, and then we'll head back to Scalding Spear. Wait. Oh, Outpost is the kind... I suddenly forgot. Camp is the kind with the Sons of Prometheus stuff? Because we didn't find any information here. But there was a Sons of Prometheus guy here. You're not gonna... There you go. Not necessarily needed, but hey. Yeah. Alright. If we want the question mark, we gotta get over the hill, I think. Oh, look at the pretty sky! There's some Northern Lights-ish thing going on there. Nice, nice. Alright, more gliding. How does that sound? Any... Any evidence here you want me to take a look at? No? Just tags here. Yeah, the ones with tags are the ones without information. Here I go. Things holding up. The shield wing is made of the same material as my guardian tripcaster thing, right? I think so. The same sort of um, electronic-y, cybernetic material. What is going on here? 
Ah, oh, it's another <laughs> flower. Fine. Let's go. So we have two things here. Back in the other Tanath town, Jataka told us to meet him at Scalding Spear. And it might be related to the whole water supply problem. And then also we gotta come back here to climb the tower for Silga's signal. So I think we'll probably do the signal first. Makes sense to me. Oh! But the first thing that we gotta do is probably get the outfit, right? Let's... How do I get in? A tower should help me pinpoint Silga's signal. The armor guy? Armor guy. Armor guy, Tanath Skirmisher. And Utaruth... Wait, what? Did I care about this one? This one... This one is kind of... It's the same as what we've always had for the Utaru. No, I want this one. Bye. Thank you. And we'll wear it after I'm done with the one I'm wearing right now. Coo, coo. A fine piece, if I say so myself. Utaruth Rusher, did I really... Did I make a thing for that? I don't think we need to. It looks the same. I mean, I'll buy it, okay? Or I can't buy it, actually. I need a large machine core. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back and buy it when I can. But it's not a bit... It's not an important thing for me. Vanguard. This one... Ah, oh, large machine core. Hmm. We gotta get up to the top of the spear again. Gotta climb up to look for Silga's signal. Anywhere. I gotta keep climbing to pinpoint that signal. Is this the right spot to even be doing this? Hey, we didn't climb this way last time, right? <gasps> I had a good thing going on. Now I gotta find an inn again. Did I go this way last time? I actually don't remember. Just a little higher. The circle has gotta come up. Why is the circle not coming up? Here we go. Actually, I think we did go here last time. Uh, I think? Almost there. We keep having to do things multiple times, because I come here too early. <laughs> so sad. Here we go. Okay. Let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. There. Found the signal's origin. Whoa. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. Well, there's not even a storm over there. What was that? The signal origin. Oh! That's a little bit surprising. I feel like we might have been there already. Yeah, we might have. Okay. Sure, I'll go back there in due time. Jataka, what do you want from me? <gasps> Wound in the sand. Oh, so maybe this thing unlocked. Whatever it is. Let me go down near the campfire first. Good 
Chitaka? Trade is welcome. Why would the wound give less water? These rations There's barely Chitaka. get us through the day, Commander. Our children are thirsty. Doesn't command have reserves? Even people here are thirsty? Exactly! I'll bet they're keeping the water for themselves! Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water! The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. Yara. What's going on? We know the way of the desert! What's stopping us from taking what we want? And uh... <clears throat> Anyone else want to complain? We're the Desert Clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. I can't wait. She's with me. Draka's not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. So you didn't tell me anything. You just told me to meet you here. You up for a game of strike later? Do you have a problem you want me to solve for you then? How can I help you? Hello, Yara. I've heard a lot about you. Oh my god. What? <gasps> is that the name of your bird? I hope it is. So, this is the Outlander conspiring with the dissident Draka. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Chitaka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. Go south is all I can tell you. This water source. Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own. Over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources. But everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew... My command would be challenged. There's no water, and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and Regala's uprising, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. If you had said that you were keeping it from people because you didn't want them to panic, I would understand. This... I can still sort of understand, I guess. It just doesn't seem very... prudent of you guys, though, relying on this one source of water. And now that it's gone, you don't have any reserves or anything. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives as a whole. Yeah, but individual people are important too. You can't be like, hey, okay, I'm just gonna sacrifice you so that the clan can live on, okay? Uh, you're too old, so you don't get water because you're gonna die soon anyway. Mm. Tough spot, though. Draka said your clan won't touch Regala. 
Her grudge is with Chief Hakaro, not me. And I plan to keep it that way, so her troops don't turn on my clan. Besides, if she defeats Hakaro, she deserves to rule. That's the way of the tribe. All the Tanakh believe in that sort of combat mindset, right? Not just a desert clan? We haven't met other clans too much yet. I can't promise anything. But if this wound was built by the old ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. It's kind of controlling. The wound in the sand is this way. I've seen it. I is that your bird? Did you name it Meat? You're not Karja. Or Osiram. I was born amongst the Nora. But you as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. Well, good thing they I say only those who are dramatic. exiled leave your lands. Talk up all there are... Exceptions? What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. Yeah, so I'd appreciate it if you made it easier for me. She's prickly. Maybe that's part of being a commander, though. Especially of a clan where everyone's sort of um, ready to challenge her at any time. This is sort of an aside, but have you noticed that Tanath names tend to be very harsh and sharp sounding? Draka, Jataka, these k sort of sounds. And then Utaru names by comparison are always very harmonious and round sounding. Reflects their culture pretty well. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. That's water, isn't it? Just a little bit. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. Feed the solar thermal. Wait here. Collector Helios 3. LFT 8 inactive. Okay. We can do that. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Do you want me to jump down here? I'm not sure if you could do that. Yeah, we can't, right? So we gotta follow it like this. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or used to. How? Does it matter? What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way. My Thank you. Please stop questioning my command. They should really be investigating how this works too. Like, they've just relied on this water source. And they did no looking into how this actually works. Very dangerous in the deserts. For the Utaru, not having enough food? Like, not having enough food and not having enough water are two different things. I should be able to turn off my focus for a while. I can follow the pipe's general direction now. I can always check the trail with my focus, make sure I'm still on track. Yeah, water is a much bigger issue than food. We really can't survive at all without water. Machines. Oh, uh, I don't see the pipe anymore. I don't think I need my focus right now. Should be easy to keep going in this general direction. I can always check the trail with my focus further ahead. Oh my god, they really play tested this to death. Clearly somebody has done the same thing as me before. Where to now? Your wound has veins that spread underneath the sand. I'm just following their trail. So you say. How do I know you're not leading me into a trap at Draka's request? You don't! Believe it or not, I have better things to do than try to kill you. Uh... You stopped. 
I must have gone past. Maybe. You're back. Let's hope you really can find the wound's water source. Oh, did I just entirely go way too past? Whoops. I think it's safe to turn off my focus for a bit. The trail seems straightforward. I can always use my focus again further down the path. Okay, 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 Aloy. But that's what I've been doing, though. You didn't let me have it on, and that's why I went in the wrong direction. That mound. It looks like the metal from the wound. We really are following its trail. As I've been saying, the desert kills... But it also surprises. Get this from my stash when I need it. This looks promising. I should check where the pipes are headed with my focus. Pipe goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. You must be among the strongest in that here, huh? Oh boy, what now? It's a lot of machines. What is that? And a very dead soldier. Is it one of yours? I need to take a closer look. We need to get rid of the machines first. Follow my lead. Okay, that's a lot of machines. Looks like frost is no good here. Wide maws? I need some tusks, right? Uh, purge water, don't have it. I'm just scared everyone's gonna be on me as soon as I start doing this, but we gotta, we gotta do it. Time to fight! I might have been a little bit overkill. Can I get the tusk? Open up! Well, that didn't work. That's fine. Spike snout! Looks like that machine stores fluid in its tail. I wonder what it does with it. What is that? Like a... Like an anteater? Ew, it's got a tongue! What the heck? It's got a natural tongue! Damn! Okay, that was a bit... That was a bit much. Good hit! Thank you! I want a tusk if we can afford to get it. Hmm. I feel like we're at the point where maybe we should be considering upping the difficulty a little bit. I don't want it to be too hard, because the shell snapper, stuff like that is still incredibly hard. But these guys are... A little bit of challenge might be more interesting. After this mission. You clipped it! Don't let up! Primary nerve. Didn't get any tusks. When the machines die so fast, it's harder to get some of the harder to reach components. Did you look at your person? Is he one of yours? Hold on. You know him? That is one of Draka's men. Oh. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with... We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. Lead the way. She's immediately assuming that they did something. If that actually was the case, I'd be very disappointed in Draka. He seemed like his heart was in the right place, so I really hope that's not what's happened here. Maybe he was trying to figure out what happened to the water, too. Oh! Water. Barely a lick's worth. But there are no streams in this area. Which means it's coming. These anchors. That soldier must have used them to get up this cliff. Dang it. 
He must have been going back to Arrowhand when those machines got him. Maybe he found something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. Did a pipe break? Where does this unending water even come from? Pry this green shine off carefully. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried oh. to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Sabotage. Or ignorance. I'm way more inclined to think that Draka thought that Yara was keeping the water away on purpose. So he tried to free it so that more water would come out. But he actually ruined it for everybody now. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Can we at least get that out? This must be the pipe that connects to Scalding Spear. Flow deficiency detected. That pipe... It looks like it bypasses the damage distribution system. Maybe I can find a way to reroute the water through it. So Draka's men was able to find this place, yet Yara had no idea where the water came from. A little bit weak of you guys, Yara. Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. Maybe that's to say that Draka does know a little bit after all then. At least they tried looking for where the water source was, but Yara was like, okay, we have one water source, we're just gonna rely on it, but not know where, not know anything about it. What do you need me to do? Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. We need Stanley Chen here. A valve. That might help. Reroute it to the other pipe? Hey! It stopped leaking! It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. What is that? Ancient sculpture. Legendary. That's gotta be the first time we've seen a legendary random artifact. Is it a random thing? Tarnished piece of scrap from the old world that offers good value. Oh, it's just... Mm. What? It's a backpack. Oh, no, no, no. There's no picture for it. That's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only this one's not leaking. Maybe can help me switch the water flow. Engineer Eloy to the rescue. It sounds like the water switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. What? Not getting up through there. Jeez. Oh, here. For Scalding Spear, for the entire Desert Clan, honestly, I feel like it might be better if both Yara and Draka work together. Because if what I'm guessing is right... The system switched back. Couldn't hold the water pressure. I need to find a way up to that valve. Wait, the system switched back? Oh, uh, hold on. Yeah, I was gonna say that because it feels like right now, maybe both of them are good at different things. And if they combine their skills, then maybe that would be better. Hey, do I need to touch that again? It's timed. It sounds like the water switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Here we go.
Was that like a mini loading screen? Sounds like that oh. did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan works. That should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear? Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water. But he didn't care! No, 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 no. All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. <sighs> Meet me back at the wound when you can. Please. To make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Yeah. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. The desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off. Yeah, let's go back right now. She didn't even offer for us to go back together. can go back. Yeah, so if what I'm seeing here is right... Okay, I'm just gonna assume that Draka probably didn't do this on purpose. He didn't want anybody to be left without water. Or everybody, I should say. But he was convinced that Yara was probably keeping it for her own people when that wasn't the case. But I'm still a little bit surprised that Yara's people just didn't realize this thing was here and then Draka's men were able to find it so quickly, so easily. So that might seem like something that Draka has over Yara too then. He's... I don't know. More inquisitive about where things... how things happen. Oh, let's go, let's go! We'll hear what Draka has to say first though. We don't know if what we're thinking is right. It doesn't sound like Yara's willing to give him the benefit of the doubt though, so I don't know what's gonna happen when we get back. Hopefully... The water issue being fixed will mean that tensions will lower a little bit. Although I somehow doubt it. For the record, where are we right now? Oh, there was a black box here. Convoys. Cauldron. It's been a while since we've seen a cauldron. Back. If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can do. Is Draka gonna be here? I hate to admit it. Regalo's Oh. I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. But no Yara. Oh no. What's going on? I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. Wait, wait. Don't do anything without me, okay? Just calm down. Where is your quarters? I've been here, but I'm not sure if I've been to the quarters exactly. You have some nerve! You're one to talk? That doesn't sound good. No. Watch your tone! Or what? You let these two kill me? Yara? I can't believe this. Agreed. I can't believe you either. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. 
And it's not my fault. I already told you, Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you mm. expect me to believe that? Aloy, I came for the water that was owed to us. And when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this. No more words. Whoa, 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 whoa. Consider whoa. that a challenge. <gasps> Gather your squads then and meet us at the gate of the vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me. This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. Oh my god. The fighting could last for months. Those two scab heads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe what? aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Dead? What shut it off? No one knows, but it is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. Wait, you know about cauldrons? Are we talking about the same kind of cauldron here? Oh, that's a little bit... Hmm. Okay, so I see that Draka didn't do it on purpose. But it's not like what I thought, though. I thought that he knew that was where the wound connected to, the wound in the sand. No, he just randomly found that spot. Which makes sense, because water was dripping out of it. Yara hiding what happened to the wound? I don't blame her though, because if you... If you tell people stuff like that, positively, you can look at it as keeping people updated. But negatively, you can look at it as making people panic. With no real solution in sight. Oh, I'm not sure either way. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. I'm not a good speaker. Especially with a bow in your hand. I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. Yara had no solution to the water being gone. She was like, oh yeah, we'll just find a way to fix the wound, but like, nothing's actually happening and she wasn't really looking for an alternate source, whereas Draka was actively trying to look for something alternate, which happened to be what connected to the wound. Man, I'm an outsider. I don't want to be... I don't want to be connected to this. You figure your own thing out, man. 